Hi there. I'd love to know before the video starts if you're subscribed. It helps me out a lot, and you get to see whenever I upload. Otherwise, you could always check me out over on Twitter or in my Discord. And if you want to go the extra step further, you could join my Patreon or join here on YouTube to see videos early if that's more your thing. It all means a lot to me personally, so I hope you enjoy the video and have a great rest of your day. space. <laughs> yeah, no, not necessarily something I'd expect you to join me in, but I do find it quite relaxing out here. Hmm? How? I can teleport anywhere. It's just teleporting somewhere that's not Earth. 99.999% <laughs> of the time, I'm not gonna hit a planet. Oh, how are we breathing? Um, I don't breathe and... Don't worry about the logistics of that. That's not really something you should be concerned about in space. It's nice though, isn't it? I'm just... <laughs> Rubbing my own jacket. Sitting in the middle of the absolute void with... My partner. There's kind of a deep peace to it, you know? Do you like this kind of thing, being out in the middle of nowhere, just with me? Or I guess do you think it's alright? I can bring us back if you want. No? Well, I do guess that sometimes it is good to just... exist and be able to have your own deep thoughts but it's nice to have someone else there to make sure that you don't get too deep in them hmm. yeah sorry apparently the whole complete and utter lack of air thing makes me yawn quite a bit <sighs> I, I'm serious, you really shouldn't worry too hard about why you're not concerned about breathing. It's nothing too important. It's not gonna be important. And I'd rather you just not ask. It's it's just, it's literally not important. Oh, if it's concerning you that much, it's just your soul out here, not you. Yeah, I can drag it separately, and there's nothing too surprising about that. Yeah, that's why you feel weightless. It's because you're just imagining a body for yourself out here. And seeing as I'm just a spirit, there is not really anything to uh, create to hold on to. Well, it's just me. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? 
Even in the void of space, there's still something to hear, even without me here. <laughs> If you want to take your non-existent hand and stroke my jacket, that's fine. If it keeps you eased, why not? Yeah. Normally I'm out here completely alone. The border of the universe, to be honest. Yeah, we're not but half a light year away from the, uh, from the end of this reality. That's why there's so few stars. Most anything that would be a star is still just a cloud out here. It hasn't had time. No time to form. Eventually, gravity will cluster them all together, or not, and there will or won't be new stars. It's almost useless, though, as in the edge right horizon over there. Yeah, you can actually see it. It's so big. <laughs> That's the end of the observable universe. That's where it connects to a new one, at least. Hmm. Yes, there's multiple universes. Many more. It's all in the grid, actually. The universe is a square, not a circle or a sphere. It's a uh, surprisingly limited. The horizontal depth of the universe is almost beyond comprehension, but surprisingly the vertical is only a couple light years deep. Everything in the universe, if you were to put it on its side ahead of it all fall, it'd be a drop. There's so much empty space. It's insane, to be honest. Yeah. Snuggle up into my jacket with me. You know, it is kind of romantic being out here. That's why I brought you. I thought it might be something you'd like to try. And it's something kind of hard to ask if you want to do while you're awake. So I figured something more dreamlike would be okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't worry too much about it. Doesn't hurt to be out here. But the next universe over. Surprisingly different. All the colors are reimagined. There's a whole lot more life in this other universe. I've gone there before. I went near the edge. I saw the edge. And I went over myself. I went to the version of Earth. It's a dead planet. But Mars and Venus and Pluto and Mercury, they all had life. Any of the non-gas planets actually had life besides Earth. I don't know what happened to that Earth, but I don't think there was ever life. But it was very interesting. I didn't understand anything they did, and I didn't try to commune. They all had beings much far different than us. They weren't bipedal, they... Some didn't even have legs, some floated, some were quadrupedal, tripedal, pentapedal. Strange, strange. Well, that, that is enough about the next universe. I'd rather not make us think about what's out there. I mean, of course there's other life in our universe. Come on, we know that Venus has life. <laughs> I've never checked out Mars, though. The little Martian thing makes me assume there might be. And from what snippets I've heard that dragon talk about our crew. There's at least four or five relatively close other species somewhere in our galaxy. Yeah. Don't know much about them. You know, just overheard. A dragon called them by their names. It isn't too big of a deal. I prefer Earth, Earth people, Earth beings, Earth animals, Earth foliage. But it's nice. It's nice to get away and not think about Earth every once in a while. You want to just lay down and not really talk. Sounds good. I will be back at Earth in a while. Your perception of it being here will probably fade and you'll wake up back at home before I do. I'll be back sometime after you really wake up for the day, you know. 
And you can tell me what you think about this once you have your voice. And not just your spiritual voice. I want to hear what you breathe. Thanks, not your heart and soul. Not to give a fair comparison, you 